today I am going to show the sit home protein and I'm going to set up this demo with it and show the quick setup tools and how to get started with a WordPress installation using the switch home protein. So the first thing that I'm going to do since this is a fresh WordPress installation is install all of the plugins that the team needs in order to import everything like the IGX filter and the IGX carousels with uh, plugin. So after I'm done, I will activate the team and get started with the quick setup tools. Okay, so as you can see, I have installed the plugins and I have also added the team uh, to the WordPress files. And now I am seeing this warning here telling me that I need to install the Undistrap parenting. So I can just click here and the Understrap team will be installed. Then I'll just return to the team installer. And you can see the switch on protein right here. So I'll activate it. And now that I have it active, uh, you can see this warning right here pretty much everywhere you go on the dashboard. And it's telling you to install these plugins because these are the plugins that are essentially the quick setup tools. And we need them to be able to quickly import everything and also to gain time when setting up the sites. So I will just go here and begin installing everything. Um, the great thing about this is you can just bulk install everything right here and wait for a little while. Activate everything. And now we are ready to start importing everything. So the first thing that I am going to do is add the API key to TimeCleanyD so we can have it ready for when we start to add a lot of images and download a lot of images. We can just have it ready so we can compress everything beforehand. So I'm going to add the API key and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have added and when I refresh the WordPress dashboard, we will not see that warning anymore. So we have time PNG ready and we can start importing the team data. To do so, you go here under appearance and click import demo data. And as soon as you click this button, it will, it will start importing everything from the widgets to the content and the customized settings all at once. So you just need to wait for a little while. And when this is done, you have the whole the switch home demo on your site. So you can get started and download the images and customize the team. So as you can see, the importing has finished. And sometimes an error like this happens. Uh, maybe the plugin had a connection issue and you fail to download a page or something like that. But usually it's just a small error like this one, so we can add it later manually if we need to. So I am going to the home page and I'm going to take a look at everything we imported. So this is what we have. We have a working demo ready to be customized. So the next step on the quick setup uh, process is going to the the media and instant images link and in here we can download um, pretty much any image we want from Unsplash which is this uh, free royalty uh, website for images free pictures so I can just search for related images with real estate, uh, like houses, real estate, stuff like that. And I can choose some of them. And the great thing about this plugin is that it resizes the images. So you don't need to worry about the images being too big. So after they are done, they are saved directly to your library. 
and we can see them right here. And we can go ahead to the customizer and add the pictures that we want to our website. For example, uh, if I go to the hero section, I can choose one of them and add them and I can crop the images. So that's a really great thing about the Switch Home Pro is that you can save a lot of time by cropping the images directly on the thing instead of having to manually resize and crop them. You can do, you can do everything on the WordPress dashboard. So you can see in real time how the picture you cropped is going to look like. And this tool is really useful for the filter as well because it's really tiny. So as you can see, it crops an image that fits perfectly the filter. It's really useful for images like this one because it's a really big image. So when you crop it, you can select the exact part you want in your filter. For example, if we chose this picture on the standard switch home theme. Uh, it would choose this part for the background, but I personally think it looks better with this part. So with the switch home pro, I can just select this part and it will fit the way I want it to. But you can just select the image in the original size you want. Uh, maybe you have a picture that has a nice width and a nice height and you don't see the need to crop it so you can just keep cropping and let the thing do its thing with it um, so basically this is how to get quickly started with the switch on protein and now all you need to do is work on the customizer and add your colors um, select the widgets that you want to change we can do pretty much everything right here and the thing that's left is working on your menus too, because um, the importer file is not importing them quite well yet, but we're going to work on that. Um, but it's really easy to work on the menus as well. You just need to go here. You can do pretty much everything from the customizer. So we are ready to go and customize the site like we want to. Okay, uh, to work on the menus, you can see that they import, but they don't import as the correct menus. So we have here the primary menu ready to use. So we just need to set it as a primary menu here. And this will be ready. Um, there's also the optional menu. This is probably the page that we didn't manage to import. But after we do that, the menus are ready to go. So now all, it, all that is left is compressing the images we downloaded. You can do that any, any time that you want to. Uh, I'm just doing that now to show how it works. Um, you can just click here and all of that pictures, all of those pictures that we downloaded from Unsplash, we can optimize them with just one click without having to go to the tiny PNG website and manually adding each one of them. So now that we compressed everything that we downloaded, um, we are ready to go and work on the website. Uh, if we download more images, we just have to go here and optimize everything again. But basically, we're done. <laughs>